Hey, this is uh, Demi Dunks on PAX, and I'm uh, back with a new video on uh, Chaos Impact Special Edition Day. Uh, I paid 10 bucks for it, I'm pretty sure, at Walmart, so uh, maybe I'll get $10 worth. Uh, I'm trying to 60 FPS this video, so uh, maybe uh, maybe it'll come out better than the last one. I saw there was some unclear moments of it, so... Hopefully the 60 FES helps. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that bad habit of opening it behind the camera. I'm going to start opening it up here. I'm going to put the trash on that table over there. So we got the cast impact here. We got armory call and... Oh, the 6am one. Cool. I actually like armory call. This is a card I'd consider playing if the game slowed down a little bit. And uh, Battle Shogun is a pretty a pretty good card. Every six damn deck uh, plays one in the extra, so that's pretty good. Um, I played six Sams back uh, back in like the 2016 period, right after uh, Shein, the Synchro, came out. Uh, the deck was really fun. I usually would go two and two or three and one in my tournament and then uh, split top four, top whatever, if I did top. But I, I had a lot of fun with that. Back back in the old days, I would get destroyed by original six Sams when playing a Grandmaster or the Shien that needs two six Sams in play to special summon was great. And back then I was playing a uh, Demise King of Armageddon deck that was a, a homebrew I had a lot of fun with. That was a long time ago, back when 6 Sam's first came out, and Strike of Neos was the new pack. Okay, so we got Cauldron of the Old Man. This is actually a pretty decent card. I know the cards in this set, so I don't have to read them all, but I'll still read them all. Read all the names, not the, not the text I meant. Marine Sus Cascade. Watt Train. Gladiator Beast Comeback. This is a pretty good card. Oh, Prime Mineral uh, Congrate. I like... I like the Prime Mineral cards. I hope they get more support because I think this guy's actually really good. Um, this one and the common one is pretty decent as well. And we got Unchained Trin... Sorry, let me rephrase. Let me start again. Unchained Twins Ar Aruha? A-R-U-H-A? Aruha? It's kind of hard to see with the, uh, the foily name in my closet. I gotta aim it at the light, I guess. Unchained Twins Aruha. The Unchained decks are pretty cool. I have one of their secret rares from before the Mega Tins came out. So, uh, secret rare uh, Link. Link 4 guy. Pretty pretty cool card. But I like rares. I'm, I'm very happy that there's rares in here. Dances with Beast. I, I never pulled this. And I opened a good amount of packs. So maybe this is a short print or something. Spiral. Spiral the Galactic Spiral Dragon. Very good card. And Dino Wrestler. Marshall Amplo. Woo! Dino Wrestlers, just like uh, Goki, are one of those... I'll put these all in the foily stack. One of those archetypes that needs, uh, or could use some more support, in my opinion. And the, the Dino Wrestlers, uh, specifically, I think are terrible at the moment. But they look like a fun deck. So maybe if I pull all of them, I think they're all the commons... There might be, like, some rares or maybe even a Super Dino Wrestler. But they're not very good, and uh, it's a shame to say that because I, I like dinosaurs a lot. They're one of my favorite decks. I used to play, um, back when Mass Driver was still legal, I played uh, dinosaurs that <laughs> Tribute summoned uh, Dark Di Dicecaratops. Uh, probably slaughter his name, but he had a uh, piercing. He's just 2,400, one Tribute. Another Cauldron. And a Cascade is the same print run. Watt Train. And then uh, Crystal Heart. Marine says Crystal Heart. I think I have three of these now. Uh, not a great card. Oh! Gladiator Beast Atorix. I'm more excited for him than uh, the Super. So, uh, yeah, Crystal Heart's a whiff. Atorix is kind of cool, though. We got Pro Meteor the Burning Star. Desert Locust this is a card that has a lot of uh, potential, in my opinion. We got Bayonetta, Bayo Nader, the Baneful Barrel. I've never seen this before either. So turn, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls. Lose a thousand attack for each monster your opponent controls. This is a 
very random card. It could beat over anything, realistically. So that doesn't make it good, but it's a zombie. A zombie gun. And uh, Gladiator. Oh, boy. N now, now Michka? Michia? Nay Michia? N new Michia. I hope I didn't slaughter that. I'm sorry if I did, but I find it fun to try to pronounce everything. So we got the, the last pack here. I got my good card in the last pack of the last one. And pretty mediocre cards before that. Maybe I'll at least get an Ultra. If I don't, it's not a big deal. And I open packs for fun rather than collecting or playing with them. Same, same first two commons. First three commons and... Evil Eye Gorgonio. I think I have like seven of these. Oh, Gladiator Beast Charge. Another okay card. My rares, on average, were better than the supers. But, you know... That happens. I got another Desert Locust, Prometeor, Bayon. That's the same exact commons. Damn. Well, I guess that's going to wrap up the video. I'll just do a quick recap. We got Evil Eye, Gorgonio. Uh, Crystal Heart, Marine Says Crystal Heart. Those are the promos. So I'll read them last. Primineral, Prime Mineral Congrate. Battle Shogun of a 6 Sam, And Armory Call. Not the best, uh... Not the best special edition, but, you know, who cares? I had fun opening the packs, and uh, so matters. I'll see everyone later. Have a great day.